Welcome to another episode of Timmy Talks, the channel where we talk old school magic. And today I'm going to open this brick. I got a really cool package and you can see it's by Cast and Craft. This is the Instagram account and the man behind Cast and Draft is actually James and he's from the Sin City's Fallen Angels. That's the name of their playgroup. And he contacted me because he's also the designer behind these guys. The designer of the front, I should say. And uh, maybe you remember this. In June of this year, I got a Power 9 proxy set inspired by the Gamma test cards that Richard Garfield used when he was still kind of trying to make up what cards would come into Elf and he was still testing the game magic itself. And based on that design and that background, uh, James made this one. And uh, these Power 9 proxies were actually sold for charity. I believe the Children's Hospital in Phoenix, that's where all the donations went to. And of course, they're also beautiful proxies just to play with uh, if you don't want to play with your power or, you know, if you don't have power and you're playing a rule set where proxies are allowed. So, you know, all that stuff. Anyway, I think they're really, really cool. I've really enjoyed playing with them. My favorite looking at design, just before I open this pack, my favorite looking at design is definitely the Mock Sapphire here. I just love the simplicity. I think it's I think it's stunning. Um, but hey, just, that's just me, right? Um, <laughs> anyway, if you've missed that video, uh, I'll put a link in the description below so you can check it out. It's really quite interesting and I go through every single card in the Power 9 and we look closely at the design. In this video though, we're going to look at another set of proxies uh, created by Cast and Draft, created by James. And again, this set of proxies is also made for charity. And I'm just going to check because he sent me a message. I just really want to make sure that I say this right. So it is the charity. The cost is Tots for Toys. And uh, what they do is they buy bicycles for Christmas to give to underprivileged children. Right. So that is where the money goes to. So also of these proxies and in here are actually not Power 9 proxies. Um, in here are, I believe, dual land proxies. And the art is based on the 1930s style Raiders of the Lost Ark. So, I mean, wow, I'm, I'm looking forward to that. So I'm just going to open it now. And I just want to thank you, James, for, for sending this to me. And I just for doing this in general, you know, supporting all these causes. And this kind of shows what a, you know, what a relaxed and what a positive environment I think the old school magic community is in general. Okay, so we're gonna try to open it up here. It took a while. This, I believe this is all the way from, wow, okay. Let me just check, where is it from? All the way from Las Vegas, wow. So it's all the way from Las Vegas. That is pretty cool. So now it's here in Amsterdam. I think it took a while, right, James, to get here. Maybe you can let me know in the comments below when you actually posted it. It can take a while. So we're gonna open this up. Try to at least. There's still some tape. Ah, boom. Let's go for it, wow. Wow, okay, it's really a brick. It's really a brick, look at all this in here. Okay, so here we've got the goods. This is a lot, James. Wow, okay. So it's empty, that's good. And of course, if it's from Las Vegas, <laughs> oh, I think you told me about this. A collection of dice, they're numbered. They were actually used in the casino. Maybe you can let me know, maybe you can refresh my memory, James, leave a comment um, below and tell me uh, the story behind these dice. Las Vegas, Nevada. Oh, man this is so cool wow maybe this is even cooler than the cards i've never been to vegas but when i'll go i will definitely let you know and we'll definitely have to play a game of magic uh maybe play for ante when we're in las vegas okay wow there are some loose cards here i've got some more stuff wow this looks like a lot okay so let's have a look ah we've got stickers sin city fallen angels damn these are pretty Look at them. Wow. Another thing I love about old school is all these cool clubs with their own logos and their own identity. I think it's just, it's just great. We actually have, um, for the Dutch old school, I wanna show you the logo. Gotta make some noise here with my cupboard and stuff. Um, I just wanna show it here. 
So this is actually from the Dutch old school. Let me get that Timmy sticker out of the way. Oh, oops, I can't, it's gonna rip it off. Anyway, so it, here it says Dutch, Dutch old school magic, and you've got this logo, which is actually quite nice. You know what, James, I'll ask the designer, um, the designers to, to get me a sticker that I can send to you, that would be sweet. I'll send you something back, obviously. Um, so yeah, we've got some nice Sin City stickers. We've got cast and draft. So the idea is old school MTG and beers, which is the combination, by the way. So he's got um, an Instagram account, so just be sure to visit it. I think it was here at the front, wasn't it, as well? Yeah. So it's underscore cast and draft. That's the name on Instagram, where you can find him. I'm following him as well. Um, so yeah, wow, cool, man. Love it. Got to find a place for that on um, on here. So we're gonna we're gonna try to find a place for that. No worries. Uh, let's see. So we've got some cards. <laughs> oh, sweet Armageddon. One in ten wizards don't survive their first fireball. That is absolutely true. Wow, this is so cool. Armageddon. Yeah. I think it's probably higher than one in 10, man. Man, that is so sweet. Okay, we're gonna put that one here. And we've got another one. The Sin City's Fallen Angel with the stamp on it. Wow, Sin City's Fallen Angel. That is really something special. I've got a special binder for all these cards. I take absolute good care of them. This is really what what it means to be part of, of old school. Absolutely love it. Thank you so much, James. Absolutely great. Um, and I guess this is just to protect it. Oh, okay, dear Timmy, thank you for the support with the Gamma Proxy Project. You truly are a, oh, this is hard, a pioneer, a pioneer in the 93, 94 community. Here's a little something to say thank you, James Portello, AKA Cast and Draft. Thank you, man. Really appreciate it. Absolutely, gonna put, you know what, we're gonna put the letter here. Um, and now let's look at the proxies, right? Just really curious. Gonna open it up. Rip it open. There we go. Ooh, I already see something. Oh, we've got, we do have P9 proxies. Look, we've got a different back. I believe the back here was especially designed, this back was especially designed for the event by the Desert Twisters, and here you have a different back, a different back. Put that back. The Gamma Proxies. Yeah, so we've got the Black Lotus, we've got the Time Walk, we've got the Time Twister, the Ancestral Memory, the Mox Pearl, the Mox Emerald, the Mox Jet, the Mox Ruby, and the Mox Sapphire. So this is that set, but then with that background of cast and draft, I guess, of Sin City Fallen Angels. Very sweet. I'm gonna put that here. And we continue to the next one. Man, I'm, I really just love mail days, especially mail days like this, when people are just sending you things and you don't really know what's gonna be in it. And uh, let's try to get this open. Again, we have that background. And oh, here we go. So tropical islands. So these are the dual lands that I talked to talk to you about. So dual land proxies. Have a closer look at that art. I just like the style, like that black and white. I also like the fact that when you do play with a proxy, that it's very clear that you can see that you play with a proxy. Counts as both forest and island. And let's let's put them here and we've got underground sea wow look at a chip the chips going down what's that there in the water is that a wreckage or something else see some boats underground sea and then we have the volcanic island counts as both an island and a mountain Nice, very, very cool art. Badlands. Oh, look at the camel. Nice, and there's somebody on top there. 
probably portraying the wizard. Nice, going into the Badlands. We've got the Savannah. He's got to check my camera that it zooms in. Got the Savannah. Let's look at the art here as well. We've got some people at the bottom there as well. Really nice. We have the Taiga. I always like the art of Taiga. Also on this one, it always makes me want to like wander and go out into uh, into the wild, you know, go out into nature. Very beautiful. And then we've got the tundra. Very sweet. The bayou. What's a little boat doing there in the bayou? What's going on? I love it when there actually is something like it's not just a landscape, but there are like little details in the landscape that kind of makes you wonder what's happening there. I really like that. So here we've got the bayou and then we've got the scrubland. Nice. Yeah, my camera's acting up a little bit, but I just want to really zoom in and give you a close view of these beautiful cards. There's like a little caravan and they're going to a city, right? You see a big city here. Very intriguing. I, I think this, maybe this is the favorite piece of art from these dual lands so far because there's just so much happening in this one. Then there is the plateau. Really nice, really beautiful. What I really like is that they come together. There, there is, they match, you know, there's a theme between all of these dual lands, the art of all of these dual lands. I really, really like the style. And I think that in here are just the same sets of duels. Just gonna open one more because that would mean that uh, I'm fortunate enough to own four of these. And then of course you can make a complete play set if you wanna proxy that out. So, let's have a look. Yeah, exactly, yeah, so here we see a whole set. Maybe it's nice to just go through it quickly, like a tropical island, underground sea. Come on, camera, volcanic island, the Badlands. I also like the Badlands, like that one, that camel, that person is going through the land. That's, you know, that's kind of evocative, like in the sense that it makes me wonder. And that's what, for me, that's what good magic art does. And just good art in general, it just makes me wonder. These also remind me of artworks in, in Dutch, you say Etze, I'm not sure what the right word is in English, but of Etze by Marius Bauer. And what I'll do, I'll, I'll put some Etze here when I edit it in, show you some Etze of Marius Bauer, uh, just to give you an idea of what I mean. Because maybe, James, it looks like you're also an artist, so maybe you'll be inspired um, by looking at those Etze. Um, so we've got Savannah, we've got Taiga, uh, we've got Tundra, we've got the Bayou, and yeah, this, I really like the scrubland. Just so much happening in the scrubland. And we've got the plateau. Okay, so this is it. This is the mail day that I wanted to share with you. So really, really a big shout out to the Sin City Fallen Angels. Um, if I'm ever in the neighborhood, and I guess I really have to come to you guys now, I really want to play a game of magic. And uh, maybe we should then play for Anti, you know, when I'm in Vegas, that sounds like fun. Also, thank you very much for this die. Very, very interesting for this dice, I should say. It's a, it's a bit of a difficult word, die or dice. Plural or singular, right? Really, really beautiful. Thank you so much for sending me out these beautiful, beautiful proxies. And remember, if you would like to order these proxies as well, the money goes to charity. So it goes to um, Toys for Tots, right? To underprivileged children so that they can send them bicycles for Christmas. I mean, I don't know. I, that's just the best cause ever. So if you want to support that, and if you like to have these beautiful, beautiful proxies, simply um, check out the Instagram account of Cast and Craft um, and send him a message. He's a really relaxed, laid back guy. Uh, send him a message, tell him you saw my video. And uh, I'm sure you can order some proxies with him and, uh, and support Tots, uh, Toys for Tots. Okay, so this is the episode for today. First off, thank you very much for watching another episode right here on Timmy Talks, the channel where we talk all 
old school magic. And if you wanna uh, support the channel, there are a few really simple things you can do. You can leave a like, you can leave a comment, and you can also subscribe to the channel. If you're new here, welcome to Timmy Talks. By doing all that, and it's completely free, you're telling YouTube that you enjoy my content and you're really helping Timmy Talks grow even further. Bigger, yeah. Um, talking about bigger, we just hit the 600,000 views mark not too long ago, so I'm super proud of that, and I wanna again thank all of you for watching. Uh, it turns out that even though Timmy Talks is not a very big YouTube channel, the, su the subscribers, you guys basically, are very loyal and are watching and enjoying every minute of the videos that I put out, and that is great motivation for me to keep on going and keep on making content. Talking about that, there is one more way of how you can support the channel, and that is by becoming a patron on Patreon. So it already starts with $1, and the cool thing is, when you become a patron, you can um, you can join all the Timmy Talks events, tournaments, um, you also get a nice pin, and your name will be mentioned in the end scroll. Talking about the end scroll, let's go and let's have a look at the amazing, the wunderbar channel members and patrons of Timmy Talks. Let's go. What shall we do with the drunken sailor? What shall we do with the drunken sailor? What shall we do with the drunken sailor? Ik het als fikkertjes somber gezien.